decided to make this video for, for two reasons. Um, one, we install lots of unvented cylinders and also we get called out to lots of customers that have had unvented uh, cylinders installed in the past uh, by other installers and they don't seem to be working appropriately. So what we want to do is explain how they work very briefly and dispel some of the myths. But most importantly, if you're thinking of having an unvented cylinder installed, make sure that the criteria we're gonna go for can be met by yourselves in your homes or offices or wherever these are gonna be installed. Firstly, what is uh, an unvented cylinder? Well, all it is is a posh name for a hot water tank, but rather than being fed from a water supply, like a water tank in the loft, it's fed directly from the water mains. They're a European idea and they've been around for a very long time. On a safety note, um, when you have a, an unvented cylinder installed, it has to be installed by a G3 qualified installer. Just think of, of gas, um, you have to be gas safe registered. Well, for an unvented cylinder, you have to be G3 qualified. And to put that into some kind of context, an unvented cylinder, if it's not installed correctly and safely, is more dangerous than a gas boiler. If one of these things was to go and to go bang, it would be really bad. I'll say no more than that. But installed correctly, safely, and to the appropriate standards, they're fantastic. They're absolutely magic. People normally want an unvented cylinder for space, no loft tank supplying water into it. And secondly, the benefit of an unvented cylinder is it stores hot water at mains pressure, allowing you to have fantastic pressure through the home. Now, the biggest complaint that we have when we go out to uh, customers that have had, an, had these installed by other companies is that they're not getting enough hot water. So the, 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 the unvented cylinder will be supplying one shower, but the minute the customer opens another hot tap or a second shower, the water flow rates and pressure die down and, and stop, not allowing enough hot water. Well, why does that happen? Well, believe it or not, it's probably not the actual cylinder's fault or the expansion vessel. The expansion vessel is like your lung. It expands and contracts. Inside the expansion vessel, which you have on every cylinder, sometimes they're external like this one, and other makes have them actually built inside the cylinder. But to all intents and purposes, it's the same thing. Well, the way the expansion vessel works is literally where you see this seam on the expansion vessel, there's an, uh, a rubber neoprene washer inside here. This section of the expansion vessel is connected to the water supply. This is, supply, this is compressed air. And what happens is when the cylinder is under pressure and it's not being used and it's heating up and the volume of hot water inside the cylinder is expanding, the neoprene washer expands to take up that expansion of hot water and cools down. It also improves the, the pressure very, very slightly. Now, the golden rule, and this is probably the most important thing when it comes to fitting and understanding unvented cylinders. If you want an unvented cylinder in your home, this is really important, you must have a minimum, and I mean a minimum, 1.5 bar pressure. And the critical point now is the flow rate. And the flow rate is calculated in liters per minute. You need, as a general rule, and this is a very accurate rule though, a minimum of 20 liters of water per minute. What does that mean? Well, it means if you go to your cold water main tap, an outside tap, or, a, or your drinking water tap at the kitchen sink, if you were to open that cold water tap for one minute and then close it, how much water came out within that minute, you need a minimum of 20 liters a minute. So your installer must check that. We use a flow cup, we literally put this under the tap, I'll demonstrate it in a minute, and it tells us instantly how much water's coming out. But for this, to, this cylinder to work, appropriately to the manufacturer's standards and instructions, allowing the cylinder to provide water to simultaneous showers, you must have that minimum of 20 litres a minute.